let me take you back to where it all began. Wave effect. <laughs> there was this company who wrote me and they were like, uh, hey, do you want to enter a competition where you have to film a video about your city and capture a lot of sounds around it and stuff like that? I was like, oh yeah, that, that is awesome. We started doing it. <laughs> Here's the catch. We had three days to film the whole project and this is how we spent those three days. First day was really simple. We got up super early to capture a sunrise, but hey, the sunrise wasn't even there. And suddenly something wonderful happened. The world showed its kindness. And out of nowhere, just a super boring, moody morning turned into like the most magical morning ever because mist just suddenly came down out of nowhere and it looked like, what? I, do I don't see these kind of views in uh, Riga at all, like maybe once or twice a year, but man, that was so magical that uh, we literally had to completely scratch the script and just film something random. So we got all that dope uh, footage from the misty morning. I came back home and I was like, okay, I have to think of a new script, like rewrite the story completely. And I did. The second shooting day came. And uh, yeah, we just got some typical shots, I would guess. We ran around the city, got some cool landscape shots. The sound capturing, like visually, filming was super easy. Like, it, was, it was nothing special. So we're doing a time lapse. She needs to stand there. We're filming how the shadows will be moving uh, in a time span of like 15 minutes. So it's gonna look cool, but the issue is that it's kind of hot. She's wearing a coat and she has to stand absolutely still for those 15 minutes, so good luck. But uh, capturing the sound was Mm. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be because, um, first of all, we don't do that kind of stuff. We just go on Artlist, take sound effects there, and that's it. Boom, they're already edited, everything is done for you. You just drag and drop and lower or increase the volume, and that's it. But uh, no, here we had to just like mess with the settings a lot. We failed a lot. Day number three. Ooh, where do I even begin? I did an all-nighter. Uh, I went out of the house and suddenly, when I, as I was going to the shoot, something happened to my back. I collapsed on the spot. I was just in so much pain and I called Rainus and Annie and I told him, I, I can't get up, like I'm, I'm, I'm grounded. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but I missed the morning part of the shoot because I had to go back home. It was the worst pain of my life. And uh, at least they kept going and they captured the most magical morning ever with like such a beautiful sunrise. And those shots were amazing. Anyway, like uh, you already saw all these clips, like it's nothing special, it's just basic clips. But what I wanted to do is create a really deep narrative story. Just as we finished shooting, I was like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna start editing. Think of the best script ever. Ooh gonna be good. Guess what? My back started hurting again. This time I was pretty much paralyzed for a week. I couldn't move at all. The best I could do is go to the computer, sit for 10-15 minutes until my back starts hurting again and that's it. I had to go back to my room, pop some pillies and that's it. I was just like out cold. And uh, yeah, so basically we're editing both the main video and the BTS in the last three days before the deadline, which is insane. And uh, I've been editing for like, I don't know, the last 30, 40 hours in the last uh, <laughs> two days, which is a lot, but I'm just, Premiere is my bitch right now. Like I'm literally living in Premiere. Fortunately, I haven't experienced any crashes, which is insane. Some thoughts about the project, like gonna wrap this up really quickly. The visual part of this video was super easy. We got super lucky with the footage, of course, but just putting it all together wasn't really a big challenge for me. Yeah, it took me like 10 to 15 hours, but I really, really enjoyed those 10, 15 hours. However, audio editing was such a painful experience. I do not want to go through that again, because as I said, we filmmakers nowadays, we are spoiled. All we need to do is like pay 200 bucks a year for an artless subscription or something. But here, I literally was just taking clips and I even my all my audio presets just didn't go well with them. I needed to watch YouTube tutorials, how to edit ambient sounds, how to edit just some kind of popping sounds. It was just so difficult and I got pretty much fed up with it so I just used the same preset on every single one of them. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really difficult and um, I do not want to go through this again, honestly, because that was 
maybe through practice it would I would eventually get better and better of course but uh, this was really 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 difficult I'm really happy for this challenge though because this taught me something new I never really thought about just recording and editing all the sound effects separately you know this actually motivates me to maybe in the future create a sound effects pack <sighs> This was one hell of a project, one hell of a project. I'm super happy how it turned out. I did use a couple of sounds from Artlist because look, when it comes to ambient sounds, when it comes to just any walking, twisting, touching grass, foliage, trees, pine cones and stuff like that, capturing the city sounds, it's, it's easy. 90% of all the city and the foliage and all those sounds I mentioned before were used from our library, all the sounds we recorded ourselves. However, all those whoosh and impact and riser sound effects, I don't know how to edit those. I don't even know how to make those. We did use a couple of sounds from Artlist in the end. That's it from my mumbling, mumbo jumbo. You know the drill. Peace out.